Right, hello YouTubers. It's been a couple of weeks since I've been out. I decided today was going to be one of the best days with the weather wise. So um, we're back out. This you probably recognise as one of our 900 acre sites. Weather's not too bad today, not much wind. I've been detecting down the bottom end there. Come across, nothing really coming up. And uh, just come up the hill, and I've got a signal straight there. I'm not sure if you can see it there, but there's a coin sitting right there. So let's get that one out, it's a penny, we know that already. Oh, that's a nice one. It's a Vicky. That's not bad. I like that. Queen Victoria. I'm not sure on a date. It's going to be 19, uh, 1880s. Can't quite get a date on that at the moment. I can't see anything on there. See if we can give it a bit of a clean. Ah, there we go. I'm just focus in on that in a second. It's 1897. So it's right on the turn of the century, that one. Lovely. It's in good condition, too. Not a bad find at all. See there. Lovely smooth one as well. Not bad. Right, let's pack that one away and uh, we'll head off across there and see what else we can find. That's not a bad start, that's my first find. Well, I should say that's my first good find. The rest of the stuff has just been rubbish, really. Right, I'll get back to you in the next. Well, there's my last hole. I've come down maybe four or five feet. And I do have another coin. It's funny, these old sites, we keep coming back to them and I keep producing more stuff. I, know, I might have hit that one with a shovel slightly there. No, it's quite worn on. No, it's had a scar before from something. Look at that. 1863. Very nice. Don't know if you can see it, but it's going to be a young one. Yeah. Not bad at all. Not in the best of conditions, but it's identifiable, so I'm happy with that. And it's the date that, uh, that I like most, and that's the, the best feature on this coin. Look at that. Right, let's carry on around this area. Bound to be something else here. Alright, on to the next. Alright, I've moved up a little bit from down there. There's not many signals coming up. Most, mostly because we've done most of it before. But we're just going over it really. And uh, seeing if we've just missed anything. Well, I'm coming up here, where there used to be an old track that led from the road down the bottom. And it used to travel up here. The only problem is, we're in a little bit of a dingle here. And what's happened is, everybody's been up here with their shotguns. That's all that's here, shotgun cartridge shells. But we have come across something, and... It looks like to be a... I think it's a Georgia 6th crown. I don't know how much you can see that it's not a very good condition. It's probably one of these Cooper Nickels. They give awful signals. And they come out looking absolutely terrible. There's coins that come out of the ground, a couple of hundred years old that look better than this. And I'm guessing this is only a, 
I'm not sure the date on it, but uh, it's not that old. Probably 40s, 50s, something like that. There we go, it's a find. I'm happy with that. Shame it's not in better condition as well. Alright, we'll pop it away and I will continue to go up and down this sort of track here along the bank and uh, I'll head off up that way. I may even try in that field there since the grass is nice and low there. They've had cows and sheep and all sorts in there so they kept the grass down. Now they must have ventured from this road at some point through that field. So uh, I may head off that one when I finished going up around here. Well, Alright, let's uh, fill in the hole and carry on and I'll get back to you as soon as I find the next one. Right, we've got a hole open here. I've got the find out. It's in that bit of earth there, and it is giving. Have a look. As you can see on there, a 92 on the quarter. It jumps about a bit, but let's have a look what we've got. It's a good, strong signal. Ooh. Oh, here we go. 1914. One shilling. Wow. Oh, look at that. Oh, you can't beat a bit of silver. That is a fantastic find. Look at that. George V. 1914. That is fantastic. I'm well pleased with that. Hey. <laughs> See if I can get a better picture of it. What a find. Right, let's pop that one away. Whoop, I dropped it. Right, let's pop it away and uh, I'll give it a bit of a clean up afterwards and uh, I'll get you another picture of that then. What a find. Right, on to the next. Well this is the next one. I think it's a hapenny. I think you can just make out Britannia or something on there. I just nicked it there with the uh, shovel. I'm not going to clean that one up, I'll find out what that is later on. It looks like a hate me. It's not bad. I'll wait until I get home and then I hopefully I'll be able to give you a date on it. Oh yeah, it's a coin day today I think. <laughs> right, let's pop it away and carry on. Well, we've got an old button there, quite a thick one. A bit of weight to it as well. It's copper or brass, one of the two. Right, it's still got a shank, I think, on there. It's just twisted and bent over. But yeah, that's quite a thick one. Can't see any markings on it. No, not bad. There are a few finds coming up here today. Right, let's pop it away and uh, carry on. Right, I'm in that other field now that I was talking about and I'm making my way over to that treeway there because there's a gateway there and uh, it's a sign that people have been walking over this way I do have a button that's a gilded type button so about the size of a hate me looks like we're on the right track alright let's keep making my way over that way and uh, hopefully we'll come up with something now. Well, I've come across some nice uh, furniture fittings here. It's a plate from the back of the one I just found on the floor there. Nice pattern on there. And there's a hook of some sort. I'm not exactly sure if it's a hook or uh, a 
handle for something. But it's got some good detail on it. Well, I'll take it back and I'll find out what that is later. Give it a good clean up. And then it'll reveal a bit more detail then. Not bad. Right, on to the next. Well, I was heading for that tree over there, but the cows are coming in over there now. I don't want to disturb them, so I'm working my way back over and uh, I was going to go along this hedge. Then I came across a coin. The only problem is it's just a blank disc. Nothing on there. So it's probably a George III. They're terrible coins, they never show up any detail. Well, not from around these parts anyway, but uh, got plenty of blank discs. Oh, that's fine. It's a thick coin, too. Alright, let's move on before they're uh, getting closer now. Let's move on before they get over here. And I may have to go into the other field because there's a, I think there's a bull or two within, amongst that lot. Alright, time to move on. Well, there's a nice find. Bit of a pattern on this one. I think it's part of a two piece button. Got a flowery pattern on there. The back end's gone, so I'll recheck the hole in a second now to see if there's anything else in there. But uh, I can definitely see a bit of a pattern on that one. Uh, farmer's delivering a bale to the cows, so hopefully they'll be off in a minute, and I can regain my track across there. At the moment, they're very curious. The last thing I want to do is turn my back to them. Uh, there we are, that's not bad at all. There we go. They're off. Saved by the farmer. <laughs> see that focus is on there. I think with a bit of a clean that will come up and I can see what's, what exactly is on there then. Well, that's not bad. Right, let's pop it away with the rest of the buttons. I think I've got about six now. And we'll carry on. Alright, I'll get back to you on the next find. Well, that's the next find. Looks like it could be a military button. Definitely from around the 40s, I think. Can't make up much at the moment, but it looks interesting. We'll clean that up when we get back, and we'll see what we've got. Well, I've heard of the headless horseman, but I've never heard of the legless horse. <laughs> Strange horse with no legs. Made of lead, I think. Little figurine of some sort. No markings that I can see anywhere, but uh, shame it's got no legs. That'd have been nice. Oh <laughs> well, on to the next. Well, I found an opening in the hedge, so I thought I'd come in and take a look. I'm going to detect this area. I haven't been in here before, so it's always worth a go. And there's been some activity, because you just see some bottles down here. Gordon's London Dry Gin. Got one of these at home. Established 1769. There's another one there. I don't know, that's it. Some sort of old wine bottle. Don't think it's a very old one. Uh, small bottle dump. I might be back for the London Dry Gin one. But for now, I'm going to go around this area for a little bit and see what else is here. If these bottles are here, then it's got to be something else here. Alright, I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Alright, I decided to call it a day now. Uh, not much coming up from that field now. Plenty of junk coming up. Coal, 
Uh, bottle tops, a lot of bottle tops in there. So I've decided now to um, call it a day, pack up, and uh, we'll go home and see what we, what we found, really. Hope some of the stuff will clear up nice. And uh, we'll come back here again and give it a good search through. He's letting the cattle back in here now, so there's a few sheep down the bottom there. They'll take that grass down a bit. Cow's been in that one, so that's that's down quite nice. And that's where the old orchard is there. So uh, I'll come back here again, and uh, we'll give it a good search. There is that area in there to go do really, but uh, I haven't done, I've done a bit of it, not much. I left it because of the uh, shotgun shells that are finding in there. But I will do it. Right. For now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next hunt.